Welcome, Welcome to, to Start Up TV. TV. We're, We're your hosts, hosts, NJW. And I'm NSW. Join us for our first episode of Am I the A Ho? All right. Okay, so today's episode we're going to do, Am I the A-hole for ditching my daughter after years of begging her to stop pushing me away? Okay. Okay. I really need to get this off my chest. If my reading is a bit off, it's because I'm crying while reading this and can barely think. For context, I have three children. My oldest kid is 26 and my two twins are 16. My oldest daughter over a few years has changed a lot more. <clears throat> but she likes trouble. I've tried taking her to therapy, hanging out with her, and trying to please her every way. We'll call her V. V has always liked to be the center of attention, and when she was around 10 years old, my husband and I gave birth to my two twins that are a boy, A, and a girl, N. They both were very close to their dad, and V started noticing that, so I tried spending as much time with her as I could, buying her whatever she wanted and taking her wherever she wanted to go. Every other Friday, I would take my children out to eat with my husband. I would always ask her how she felt and how she liked her new school because the school she was attending was around 20 minutes away, which I would drop her there and her father would pick her up. V and her father weren't the closest, but still had a good relationship. So let's stop right there. Okay. So now, okay now? Okay, so I feel like she's already messed up. Why? Because she's she already comparing herself to her brother? No, not the daughter, the mama. Okay. She's already trying to please her child. That's not you are her mom. <laughs> okay. So, you're, so you're she's, over, trying, she's over she's trying to overcompensate and that's not her fault that your daughter's jealous. Okay. And right, let's go. go you know what I mean? Okay, continue. Okay. Every time when her computer would break down, I would buy her a new one and give her allowance for being a good sister, but also helping me with cooking. She has always loved to cook. From a few years ago, she got a job and was being very rude, but I thought nothing of it. She applied to college and studied uh, studied far away from home, which we helped her with everything, like paying for college tuition and helping her with her grades, but also making sure she was mentally stable and helping her with her self-esteem. Now comes to this point. A few days back, she called me telling me that she would come to visit and asked if I could make her her favorite food, which I agreed, and also asked me to take some time off of work to be with her for three days, which I responded excited and agreed. I was totally excited and called off work and went to the grocery store to get the ingredients and cleaned, but I also cooked for hours and made the house very comfortable for her. The first night that she got here, she looked around and criticized the home, saying that I changed everything around, and she said I had no photos of her, which I have plenty of hers there. V explained that she thought I only loved my twins more than her. I responded with, I haven't changed anything except that I had to remodel my, ki remodel my kitchen so maybe some photos fell across the home. After that, we had dinner and everyone went to bed. The next day, I took her everywhere and took her wherever she wanted to go. Everyone in the house was sort of bothered by what she said about our living situation. I told them not to be bothered by that because she had a long day and she probably was cranky. I took the family to a cafe because I wanted to tell her that what she said was not very polite, which she angrily said that she had the right to say whatever she wanted. She started crying, saying I was being cruel. After that, I dropped it, and she was acting fine, which she was making cruel statements about in that she said was worth nothing, and how V was going to college, and she was doing better than her. Who There's is V? The other sister. I thought she had twins. twins. Yeah. Oh, so she got so two she, twins. She has two twins, one's a boy and one's a girl. Oh, okay, okay, mm -hmm. okay. <clears throat> I tried telling her to stop. Their dad told V to stop, and she kept doing it. I tried telling her to stop. V called her friend and asked her to pick her up, which this friend lives over 200 miles away because our city is very small. The time that her friend got there, she packed her bags and ditched our family and didn't even tell me that she was leaving. She hasn't called me or her father. She went to go visit my family and talked crap about our family. I have been crying nonstop because the fact that she ditched us for no reason and had plans with her. I've been patient with her all her life and had tried to please her every way. Now I'm totally done with her. I will no longer try to have her spend time, quality time with me. I tried my whole life to please her. Am I the a-hole? She was the butthole from the gate. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. But, oh, so did she have a different father from mm -hmm. the, the other girl? No, she said that they, they had her and then... They had the twins. Yes. Oh, uh, so she just feel left out because it was two of two of them and one, one of her. One of her, yeah. So, so. And she's older, so you're obviously the. You know what I mean? You're obviously older now. You didn't went to college. You're out yeah. of the house. But so she came. Can't, she came in complaining. Yeah, off absolutely. The, off the dribble. Uh, <laughs> absolutely, but that's mom's fault for enabling that. Now she acts like that because you let her. All this time you've been feeding into it. You've been giving her allowance when she breaks her computers. You've been. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You're enabling the, the attitude. So and so she asked. She made exactly what she wanted for dinner, but now asked everybody else what they wanted. Exactly. So she always have been able. In enabling. enabling exactly. 
Okay, exactly. so, so I feel like mom is the a hole for cutting her off after you didn't enable her to go and act this way this whole time. Yeah, but you can't keep uh, letting somebody treat you any kind of way. She took off work for her. Right. She did this. She did that. She did all kind of things, and she still came in criticizing off the dribble. Right. She did come in criticizing off the dribble. But if this is her attitude, and this is what you used to. And this is what you didn't let her do all this time. Now you want to cut her but off? But it's an older, it's older, it's an older way of thinking now. I get you, I get you. Yeah. So now that she's older, it's a different. Yes, it's okay. a different, it's a okay. different type of uh, Okay, it's jealousy. like I don't have to take this. Yes, okay. yes, it's a different type of jealousy too. Like, because the girl is older. Okay, so it's like now you jealous of kids? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I feel that's, that, that's I feel exactly that. what it is. Okay, so let's read some of the comments. Somebody said the first comment that everybody liked. It says, I feel like there's more to this story and I would like to hear your daughter's side. Okay, well, it doesn't matter what the daughter's side is. If she treated her good, she was buying her stuff anyway. But that's what the mom is saying. That's why she's saying, I want to hear the other side of the story because maybe you're saying that you didn't did all of this and you didn't treat her this way, but that's after you didn't already left her alone. Y'all didn't went places without her. Y'all didn't did all this stuff with you and your twins, and we're not getting that part of the story. Yeah, but she's older. If she's at her friend's house, I shouldn't have to call her and say, we going here. Do you want to go? That's not what I'm saying. I know, I'm saying but that's what the that's... twins. I'm saying when the twins are at the house and she's at the house. Right? They think, probably did some stuff you think they without did, her. You think they just up and left her and to took the twins and not her? Why not? The way the mom had been enabling her, she couldn't have. But that's that's what she's saying. I want to hear the daughter's side of the story because you're seeing it to make you look best. But, okay, but uh, evidently, they have asked her to come and she said, I don't want to go with you guys. So but, now, so now <laughs> No, so, because you're seeing it from the parents' perspective and I'm seeing it from the kids' perspective. Okay. So you're saying, no, 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 there's no way that the mama did that. There is a way. She it is have. a way, but she ain't just up and left. They but you don't know and, that. They went to check and cheese without her. But, but if they say, do you want to go to check and cheese? No, I don't want to go. All right, bye. It's a difference. There is right, a difference. Go to, go to, there is. Okay, 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 okay. Somebody said, how did your husband treat her? There seems to be something more to your family dynamic, especially since you noticed your husband's unequal treatment since the twins were born. Well, one thing about... Because the dad dotes on the twins. Yeah, but the one thing about that situation is, she was first. So right. he doted on her first. But did he? You don't know? Well, we don't know. Exactly. We don't know. So now that we we see that she dote on these kids, though, the, the twins... We don't see that. That's what she said. True. That's true. That's what she said. But the whole deal is that you you're not gonna treat your one child unfairly from because of another one. Right. Okay. Let's this comment here. This comment. This All right. Is and then, okay. Okay. And then we can move on. She said, "It sounds like you spoiled her to the point that when she doesn't get what she wants, she turned against you. Unfortunately, you created this problem by trying to overcompensate for the twins being born. Let her throw her tantrum and get it out of her system, and hopefully, she will realize she's acting like a child." Well, she, she's not going to ever realize it because she's I've always acted that way. She's not going to realize it. She's always acting like a child, and then she knows she throw a temper tantrum. She expected her mama to, don't call your friend. I, I, whatever you want to do, we'll do. No, no, that's not how that go. Call your friend to come get you, and I'm going to work in tomorrow morning. <laughs> okay, okay. But what's, what's, so this is the episode of Am I the A-Hole with my daughter, Naya, and I'm NJW. Thank <laughs> you, you for joining my name us. Is. <laughs> because you, you, you're the child. Right, okay. So not thank you child. for joining us. And we're now nah, you're the youngest. So right. I'm yeah. So I'm not a child. I'm an adult. <laughs> yeah. See, that's, see, that's enabling. <laughs> <laughs> thank you guys for joining us. And, and we'll catch see you next time. <laughs>